Safe, clean drinking water. We take it for granted every time we turn on the faucet, and yet we are highly dependent on it. In fact, approximately 86% of the U.S. population, about 270 million people, relies on a public water supply, using about 42 billion gallons per day. Water is in almost every single aspect of our lives. We need water to irrigate our crops, uh, so our food also depends on water. We need water uh, to produce energy in power plants. Water, food, and energy are part of something called the human water cycle, a concept that shows how these three vital aspects of human life are interconnected. Orlando Coronel is a professor of environmental sciences and engineering at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill and funded by the National Science Foundation. His research focuses on the connection between water and energy. To produce water for drinking purposes, we need to use energy. Uh, energy is used to move the machinery uh, that uh, cleans water. Drinking water comes from lakes, streams, and underground aquifers, and it can become contaminated in a number of different ways. For example, from fertilizer runoff and animal waste from agriculture, to chemicals discharged from factories, to viruses and bacteria in sewage systems. Water treatment plants remove these contaminants before water flows into the public supply. While necessary for public health, water treatment plants use a lot of energy and are expensive, a cost which is eventually passed on to consumers. Membrane technology is currently used to purify water. There are two types. And low pressure membranes are used to remove uh, what we consider in the uh, water treatment world big contaminants. Microorganisms, for example, uh, protozoa and parasites or bacteria. High pressure membranes, uh, on the other hand, are used to remove things that are much, much, much smaller. But like any filter, membranes can ultimately become clogged. To help solve the problem, Coronel and his research team are developing something called thin film nanocomposites, a type of high pressure membrane embedded with nanoparticles that allows water to flow through faster and more efficiently. These membranes are just 300 microns thick, roughly three times the diameter of a human hair, and are composed of three different layers, the top active layer and two support layers. The top layer is what we call the active layer, and we call it the active layer because it is uh, the layer responsible for the water productivity and contaminant removal capabilities of the membrane. The top active layer of the membrane is fabricated in the lab by taping the two prefabricated support layers to a glass plate and dipping it into two different chemicals. So this is a finished thin film composite membrane and then the polyamide active layer that we fabricate is the really shiny layer that you can see. It's ready to turn on the pump. The team tests the membrane's efficiency by pumping dirty water through a cross-flow filtration system and increasing the pressure over a set period of time. Samples of the clean and dirty water are then taken and compared to see how much of the contaminants are being removed by the membrane. Ultimately, we want to uh, make the technology more affordable to uh, benefit uh, communities uh, all over the world that are in need uh, of drinking water. Coronel's team incorporates nanoparticles with different properties in this top active layer that allow water to flow more efficiently through the membrane while still maintaining or increasing the amount and types of contaminants it removes. Some of the nanoparticles that I um, am working with basically self-assemble into these very unique like structures. As a result of that, they, they form these really high, these highly, highly porous uh, framework like materials or scaffolds. Coronel hopes creative technologies like his will save energy and money and ensure a safe plentiful supply of drinking water for a more sustainable human water cycle.